Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about cylindrical coordinates. So now I will show you the technique about S. We got about R cosine theta. About Y, we change for R sine theta. dy dx we will change for r dr d theta now if we look carefully about the boundaries in here they just start from the positive only so this means a half of the circle And we need to concentrate about positive side. So we have from zero, we have x square and y square in here. That's it about this one. So we change about all cosine theta and all side theta. If we put everything in here, you got about a square minus r square because cosine theta square plus sine theta square you got about number one that's why you just got about r square in here s square that's it about this one dy ds we change for this one so about r that's about from here r that's about a so we have from 0 to a because this is about a half of the a circle so we just start from 0 to P because it's just like this so we start from 0 in here and we go a half of a circle and you go about P and now we just have the triple intervals in here so R multiply with R so you got about R to the power of 3 because we just have DZ so we just have R to the power of 3 multiply with a square minus r square cosine theta square dr d theta so this one multiply in here and multiply in here and we got about r to the power of 3 a square minus r to the power of 5 and uh, we have dr d theta so the integral r to the power of 3 we will get about r to the power of 4 over 4 a to the power of 2 r to the power of 6 over 6 and we have the boundary in here so we put a square a in here and we got about
A to the power of 6 over 12 This one, we got about cosine two theta plus one over two d theta. So we got out the final answer. We put everything in here. Oh, that's it about B. Sorry about that. So we have B over 2. And this is the final answer. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.